Hi. Um, for those of you following me on Twitter, know this situation is uh, has been brewing since uh, you know this afternoon, where Stevie Breach proclaimed and put out the offer, the bet, the big money match, San Francisco 49ers versus the Buff Town Bills, uh, was you know took place today, and he said, "Hey, let's do this. Loser leaves YouTube and Twitter for 10 days." bringing up a past event between myself and Gemini, who had uh, the shoot-off. It didn't actually take place yet, but it was, uh, you know, whatever. Fans have to... The YouTuber viewers voted on who they liked better, and the loser would leave YouTube for 10 days. That was Gemini's good uh, little thing he had going on. That's, that's the stuff that goes on in this guy's head. But Steve wanted to rehash that gimmick, and he did. And he said the loser of uh, their respective team teams would uh, leave YouTube for 10 days, and Twitter for that matter. So here I am, big old, big-brained, salt and battery, says, hey, we're going to go all the way with this. We're going to do it 14 days, two weeks, no Twitter, no YouTube. Yeah, you know, me and Steve both do this for a uh, side, I guess you can call it a part-time job. You know, we both profit from these videos. So I guess we're taking a little bit of our paid vacation. Rather, actually not even paid, because you're not making any videos, you're not making any dollars. So, game happens. Here I am. Uh, for the first time, I listen to football on the radio. Um, the only time I really follow football is the Super Bowl. And when I'm at the gym and they have it playing on the TV, I'll kind of sit there and watch it, trying to kill time until I can go home and devour a big box of donuts. Uh, those are really the only two times I really follow it. But here I am listening to it. Here, oh, three nothing, or was it? Yeah. So I'm like, all right. They they first quarter. It's only three. Second quarter ends. It is uh, 21 to three. Zero. Yeah. yeah. So 21, 14 to three. I'm like, all right, no problem. They can, they can come back. Seven more points were added. Then two another 21 after that, leaving the final score 45 to three. Obviously, San Francisco 49ers won, and here I am. What do I do? <laughs> do I make a farewell speech? Steve's here laughing. People are like, yeah, before it ended up in the first quarter. Here I am, sitting like an idiot. Oh, well. I'll, um... I had so much stuff planned. <laughs> hey, well, uh, time to take a break. Two weeks, no Twitter, no face. Well, yeah, I'll... Uh, Facebook, whatever. No Twitter, no YouTube, and to be quite honest, if Steve would have lost and he wanted to go back and say, oh, come on, man, it's okay, I would have said no, honestly. <laughs> I would have been like, you're not a man of your word. A man's got two things, his balls and his word, and he doesn't break it for nobody. Take that, Al Pacino. Um, there you go. So that's the end of me for a little while, and um, enjoy this time. I'm sure a couple of you are jumping up and down like, good job, Steve. They're going to go congratulate him. Another will be making some tributes. Um, here I am with my thoughts of you. And um, here I am. going to be spending a whole lot of time with myself and away from my fellow people. And until next time, peace. No, I'm just joking. I love wrestling. Wrestling Jesus is my homeboy. That's a true statement there. He shared a very funny story about Hulk Hogan and his sex tape, leading me to go watch it myself. So, thanks, Jesus. Saw so, <laughs> pasty old white ass. That was closest to the truth as you're going to get for, for Hulk Hogan. But, anyways, dragged this video a little longer than I should. See ya!